Today on Watts TV, I'm going to discuss baby megawatts. Oh yeah. Okay, what was that? Lunch time? Okay, I'll be right down. Kate made lunch. It's time to go see what she made. I still have to hang this right here. I came back from New York. It is a little wet in Maine. But, it stopped raining, onward to the midwife. We just left the midwife for the 24th week checkup, so we're going like once a month for the checkup. And check out what I just saw inside the midwife. This is pretty cool. Pretty crazy, right? Kate's mom wrote a book a long time ago and Kate's on the back of it and now she's having a baby inside of there. So it's pretty darn exciting. We've heard the heartbeat before, but I was able to use the thing and put it on Kate's belly and find the heartbeat myself. It was pretty darn cool. I have to say, like, hearing the heartbeat inside go boom, 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 boom. And even when we had the ultrasound at week 20, that was pretty cool too, us able to see the kid and uh, see baby megawatts beat, heart beating away. Now we're gonna go to Kate's favorite store. Paper, paper everywhere. Check this out. I was editing some footage today and I just checked the Twitter and look whose content is featured on this Buzz 60. Some Twitter following. Mine! From the Aladdin and Disney World. That's pretty cool. Look at my name. It's right there. That's pretty sweet. So earlier I said I was gonna talk about baby megawatts. So this goes back to a lot of the, what I wanted to talk about on Watts TV, right? I talked about prepare for parenting. This is a multi-part series. This is not gonna be answered everything today. I'd spend an hour talking. So what's my view with baby megawatts? I've always wanted to be a dad. I've always wanted to be a dad in my life and Kate's always wanted to be a mom. Definitely didn't want to be a parent before the age of 30. I never thought I would get married before I was 30 or have kids before I was 30 and it didn't happen. You know, I was 32, 31 when I was married, almost 32. We're gonna have a kid when I will be basically, if the due date's September 20th, I will turn 33. So I always thought that was like my timeline. I, I knew it was gonna take a little bit of growing up for me to happen before I was ready to be ready for that next purse. We've talked about having a, a kid and we thought it was gonna be at, um, you know, on the honeymoon, is we were gonna try to have a kid and Kate would get pregnant, but it actually, what took place is December of last year, we were really seriously about it. We were preparing ourselves for it. Like last October, we went to this place called Sonaviv, and I'll link that up in the description of this video. And what Sonaviv was is it's a super holistic hospital down in Rosarito Beach, Mexico. We had a lot of tests done to make sure that our body was completely you know, everything was good health-wise and everything was stable for us to bring a baby into the world. And I mean, the way I looked at it is I was bringing a child into the world. So a child was gonna pick us to be their parents when the time was ready. When our body, when my body was ready, when Kate's body was ready, when our mindset was there, when we decided to call that child, that human being into the world. So it, it might be a little bit different than what you think, uh, but that's okay because I mean, we believe we, we really um, are cultivating and generating ideas and generating thoughts and generating belief. And then that sh really the child chooses us uh, to be their parent. So we had this idea of when we wanted to have the kid. December 23rd of last year, we ended up going to have dinner at Kate's mom's place and all of our friends were over there and uh, they brought their, their kid, her little Iris, little baby Iris. And we both went home that night and we looked at each other while we were laying in bed and we saw Iris playing and we were there and we both looked at each other and we're like, why are we waiting? Let's just have a kid. And basically we did a ritual two days later. We lit candles around the bed. We called it in. We said all these, like kind of sent these blessings up into the air and 
you know, try to have a kid. And basically, Kay got pregnant either that night or the next night or whatever it was. And it was just like, boom, like we're calling it in and that's what's happening. I know everybody's experience is in that way and people have different experiences when they're trying to get pregnant or have a baby, but that's like what worked for us. Kate and I had a lot of serious conversations six months to a year prior. And we were just, when the time was right, the time was right. And baby Mega Watson, I'm very excited to be a dad. I'm very excited to have a little munchkin around the house. Um, I've been doing a lot of reading about it and really we talk to a lot of our friends that have kids and just kind of their experience, what they've gone through and really take it in every single time we have a conversation with them about what that's like to be a parent. Now, I don't really know until that comes to a reality, right? I don't know until the reality hits me of what that's gonna be like because yes, it's an experience now and for Kate to be pregnant and how that's changed has been a big learning experience for me as a guy watching his wife go through that and I spend a lot of time with Kate so you know, the more the sleeping she has to do because she's growing this human being and supporting this human being during this process and I really think um, women that are delivering birth and having pregnancy, they're really undervalued and very undercredited for what they actually go through. Like, as a man, we don't do crap. Besides me putting on, you know, 15 pounds of weight, that's about the only thing that's happened during the pregnancy. But it's like, we don't, you know, I think they're very undercredited and for what they go through as human beings because every single person on this planet was given birth by a woman. You have all these guys in the politics situation, white men for the most part, um, spitting out stuff about women's health and all this, like, it's just, shut the hell up. So stupid, like, shut up, thank you. People like to talk about stuff they don't understand and, you know, being here watching Kate be pregnant, as a guy, it's a pretty remarkable process. And it's, it literally is the world's miracle of how that happens. And you think of all the sperm that is throughout my system and the eggs that are developed within the woman and what's released and how it all functions and how it works. But then one little tiny sperm connects with an egg and then it produces this baby and then the baby grows inside. And it's been a really cool experience to go through. And going to the midwife today and hearing the baby's heartbeat and just working with a midwife is super relaxing and super chill. I, I just feel they really care about us as a couple and make sure that our baby that's coming in the world is um, really prepared for. And having a home birth was a decision Kate's always wanted to do and I completely support it. And I just feel that bringing a baby into our world is at our own home is pretty, pretty cool. That's pretty much it for Baby Megawatts part number one. I just left the second movie of the week called Entourage. When I was about two years into the business or building my business, I felt really down and out because I didn't have the support or the community that I thought was a part of. Watching Seinfeld and Entourage brought back my joy and laughter and happiness and goals and striving and all that stuff. So it was really great. So I'm glad the movie came out. On a scale of 1 to 10 with 10 being an excellent movie, honestly I'd say it was about a 7 or 6. From an awesome standpoint and ridiculousness, by far a 9 or a 10. Both of you. Can you hear that? Mm -hmm. Yeah.